Hi everybody, this is MC Hammer, and this lesson will get you ready for the test, which is probably tomorrow if you're watching this. Uh, it's, a, it's a review on, on uh, writing equations of lines and graphing them also. I'll do a one review. There we go. So write an equation of the line with a given slope and the, and the y-intercept. So slope 3, y-intercept uh, 6, it's y equals mx plus b, so there's the answer right there, y equals 3x plus 6. Okay, same thing. y equals uh, 7x, it's minus 8, so 7x minus 8. All right, section B, write an equation of the line that passes through the given points. Okay, I just uh, rewrote it up on top up there. Okay, we got to do slope formula. So when you plug in the numbers, you should get 2 over 2, which equals 1. And then um, this guy right here is, um, uh, so we, it, I'm sorry, so it's y equals uh, 1x plus b. Don't forget, mx plus b. And then um, that 0, 5, when it's 0, comma something, that comma something is always your b right there. So your b is equal to 5. All right, but it's only when uh, your first number is zero. Okay, so uh, y equals uh, 1x plus 5 or just x plus 5. Okay, number two. Uh, okay, use slope formula again. So we're going to get, um, uh, let's see, uh, 6 minus minus 10 is 6 plus 10 or 16. And uh, negative 5 minus 3 is negative 5 plus a negative 3, which is negative 8. And you should get um, 16 over negative 8 is negative 2. So, uh, let's see, I moved it back up on top right there. So then we know y equals negative 2x plus b. And then you can substitute in uh, either this point, 3 comma 10 for x and y, or negative 5 comma 6 for x and y. I forgot which one I did. Let's see. I did the 3, negative 10. Okay, remember the negative 10 is the y. And then so for the x is, uh, is a 3. All right, so um, uh, you get uh, negative 6 on the right, and you're going to plus 6 to both sides. And when you plus 6, you should get negative 4. Don't forget to put it back up into the problem right there. Y equals uh, negative 2x minus 4. All right, write an equation of the line that passes through the given point and has the given slope. Okay, here, this is uh, a little bit easier. They give you the slope. So y equals 2x plus b. Plug in that known point, and you get 6 right there. And you subtract, you get 2. Y equals 2x plus 2. Okay, one more of these. Uh, y equals uh, 2 thirds x plus b. Substitute in uh, that known x and y right there. So 3 is the y and negative 6 is the x. And then 3 and 6 cancel to 1 and 2. So 2 times, it's still you still got this little negative there. Don't lose that negative, you guys. So 2 times 2, I'm sorry, 2 times this negative 2 is negative 4. And then when I plus 4 to both sides, you get 7. So y equals 2 thirds x plus 7. All right, uh, graph each equation. Okay, so this one's in um, uh, slope-intercept form. So we're going to first um, graph that minus 1 right there. So this is my y-intercept. I'm going to graph that minus 1. And then from there, I'm going to use this slope, you guys. The slope is, is 2 thirds. So from this point, I'm going to go up 2 to the right, 3, 2, 3, and then put a point right there, okay? And then there we go. And then connect them up with the line. Don't forget to write your equation on the line. Okay, you might see one like this. Uh, uh, this is in point slope form. When it's in point slope form, you know that you have that uh, ordered pair. You always take the opposites. The number hanging out with x is going to be negative 1, and the number hanging out with y is a positive 2. Okay, remember they're always opposites. So I went over and graphed that point to the left 1, up 2. Okay, and then I'm going to use the slope like I did on the last one. From that point, I'm going to go up 1 to the right 2. So from here, I'm going to go up 1 to the right 1, 2, and put a point right there, and then connect them up. And, whoops, I went over 3. You guys, it should go over 2. I went over 3. I went over too many. That point should be, sorry, I hope you guys can see that. That point should be right about there to the right 2. I just went over 3. All right, so hopefully you can catch that. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, this one's in standard form, you guys. So this one, when it's in standard form, I would do the zeros. Okay, let x be 0. And when x equals 0, pretend like that 2x isn't there, and you have negative 5y equals 10. So negative 5 goes into 10, negative 2 times. Okay, so graph 0, negative 2. And when y is 0, cover up the 5y. You have uh, 2x equals uh, 10. So when you have 2x equals 10, uh, x equals 5, and then connect them up. And then... Uh, uh, write the equation of the line right there. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, oops, uh, now I'm going to go, uh, my flip chart was getting too big, so now I'm going to go over to here. All right, so uh, here's section E. Write two equations that are equivalent to the given line. Okay, and uh, so here's uh, the given line right here. So two equations are, you just multiply that equation by some number. So I chose two. You could have chose five, ten, a half, negative eight. It doesn't matter. I chose easy numbers to deal with. I chose two. 
So I want to go 2 times 2x is 4x, 2 times 5y is 10y, and then 2 times 10 is 20. So that blue one is, uh, is one of the answers right there. And then I chose 3 for the next one, you guys. Okay, so when I plug the 3, 3 times 2x, and then 3 times 5y, and then 3 times 10. Ooh, I made another mistake. This should be 30 right there. 3 times 10 is 30. Make sure I did everything else right. Yeah, this should be a 30 right there, you guys. See, even I can make mistakes. Your teacher makes mistakes all the time. All right. Okay, so uh, write an equation of the line that's parallel to the given line that passes through the given point. Okay, so here's number one. Okay, it's parallel to this line right here. So I'm just concerned about this slope right here, this 3. This 5, I could care less about. I just want this slope out of this line. It says it's parallel. Okay, remember, parallel lines have equal slopes. So my equation is going to be, why is this equals 3x plus b? I just got to figure out b. All right, you guys know what to do. You're going to substitute that point in there, and then you get uh, uh, negative 11. So it's going to be y equals 3x minus 11. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, it's going through uh, that point, and the slope is 3 fourths plus 50. It could be plus 500. I don't care about this number. I just want this slope right here, y equals uh, 3 fourths. Okay, so I, I did it all in one step right here. So y equals 3 fourths x plus b. Then I substituted in, that in for y, that in for x, and then 4 goes into 8 two times. 3 times 2 is 6, so there's my 6. And I subtracted 6 on both sides, and uh, negative 3 minus 6 is negative 9. So I must have my answer on the next page. Yep, so y equals uh, 3 fourths x minus 9. Okay, now we're going to do the same directions, except it's going to be perpendicular. Okay, so perpendicular means that the slopes are opposite reciprocals. So see here, the slope here is 3. So it's going to be a negative for the perpendicular, and it's going to be the reciprocal of 3. It's 3 over 1, so it's going to be negative 1 over 3. Okay, if this one's positive, this one has to be negative, and they have to be reciprocals of each other. All right, so now I know it's y equals negative 1 third x plus b, and then substitute the point in. All right, and then it uh, looks like uh, 3 goes into 12 four times. And then I'm left with negative 1. Don't forget the negatives. Negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. Okay, and then you're going to subtract 4 from both sides, and negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. And then slide right back up into that equation, y equals negative 1 third x minus 6. Okay, one more. Uh, okay, I need the slope on that guy, 3 fifths, so a perpendicular slope is negative 5 thirds. All right, one, if this one's positive, this one's negative. If this one was negative, then this one would have been positive. All right, so here we go, y equals negative 5 thirds x plus b, substitute that point in, and uh, 3 goes into 15 5 times. Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25, and I'm going to add 25 to both sides to get 14 and there's your answer. And, and so for your homework, I don't have a homework assignment out of the book. I'd rather you use that time to study for your test. This will be a great review for that.